Before attempting this, you must precisely measure from the wrist's crook to the fingertip. This varies based on the unique contours of each individual's palm. The human hand is an extraordinary tool, rich in complexity and sensitivity. It's an intricate tapestry of diverse muscle groups, varied joint types, and is enriched by the innervation of three distinct nerves. Therefore, it's hardly surprising that extensive research links the intricate design of our hands to the profound enigmas of human intellect. The brain's complexity was first illuminated by neuroscience pioneer Santiago Ramon y Cajal, who unraveled the mysteries of neural potential and the brain's dendritic, tree-like nerve structures. Since Cajal's groundbreaking work, the quest to decode the brain, one of our most expansive organs, known for its baffling functions, connections, and effects, continues to astonish researchers. Hence, uh, it's intriguing but not unexpected that neuroscientists even after formulating the concept of neuroplasticity, persist in their quest to understand how the body influences the mind. Neuroplasticity refers to the brain's capacity to reconfigure its synaptic connections, forming increasingly complex networks. This adaptability is particularly vital post-injury, and given the hand's detailed and delicate operations, which are meticulously governed by the brain, it's plausible that this influence could be reciprocal. The human hand, with its varied forms, offers diverse measurements and indices. According to Dr. Huberman, these can reveal insights into the cognitive functions of the human mind. The body's natural androgens, influential during a child's brain development, can impact these hand indices, potentially leading to uniform effects on mental processes across populations. Several theories exist for these phenomena. For instance, Shungatogo's research in Nature magazine highlights that the ratio between the ring and index fingers, the 2D-4D ratio, and their functionality, differ in individuals on the autistic spectrum compared to those not on it. Anatomical variations can significantly impact brain structure and functionality. I recall a project on how prenatal androgen exposure influences digit ratios in humans. A finding first published in Nature, in 2000 and replicated over five times since. This research indicates that prenatal testosterone exposure tends to shorten the index finger compared to the ring finger in females, with more pronounced differences observed in males. Dr. Andrew Huberman, with decades of brain research, suggests that the human hand structure might indeed affect brain function. He hypothesizes that in utero exposure to maternal androgens causes changes in the developing fetal brain subsequently altering finger development indices. Higher androgen exposure correlates with longer ring fingers relative to index fingers. Research by doctors Margaret Gatz and Christian Pike links these hand indices to long-term cognitive outcomes. In a study involving 8,000 Alzheimer's patients, they discovered that women with higher 2D-4D ratios, indicative of the female hand pattern, showed increased susceptibility to Alzheimer's in later life. Conversely, Prenatal androgen exposure, leading to the male hand pattern and lower 2D die 4D ratios, seem to protect cognitive function in older women. These findings were corroborated by correlating hand measurements with cognitive assessment data from three web-based cognitive tests. The human brain, master of both physical and mental functions, emotions, and behaviors, has been found to influence individual dispositions based on hand lengths. Therefore, embodiment also plays a role in emotional representation hand posture, and the complex audio-visual processing and normal emotional responses might contribute to these diverse observations. Individuals with longer ring fingers compared to index fingers often exhibit logical thinking and excel in problem-solving, gravitating towards scientific or engineering careers. Conversely, those with longer index fingers may lean towards solitary, goal-oriented pursuits and exhibit introversion, though this is subject to debate Individuals with equal ring and index finger lengths often display diplomatic traits and conflict avoidance skills, yet may possess intense personalities despite a calm exterior. Karen H. James's study in Trends in Neuroscience Education found that early handwriting learning and the development of the reading circuit in the brain enhance letter recognition and early reading proficiency. Repeated use and regular motor functioning, particularly of the hands, can induce brain changes observable through MRI neuroimaging. The human brain, 
deeply interlinked with the body, is influenced by a multitude of factors from prenatal development to lifestyle choices. Our hands, remarkably, offer a wealth of information on our thoughts, feelings, and life experiences. Enjoyed the content? Then hit the like button and subscribe for more insightful and motivational material. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. Thank you for tuning in.